For this week, Navy Recognition has selected the following topics. First, Kawasaki launches second Soryu class for Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. Then, Lockheed Martin will build littoral combat ship with tactical trainer devices. And finally, China built two types of O-54AP frigates for Pakistan Navy. Japan's Kawasaki Heavy Industries has launched the second Soryu-class diesel electric attack submarine for the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, equipped with lithium-ion batteries. GS Toryu is the 12th and final Soryu-class submarine produced for the GMSDF. Toryu means fighting dragon. The name of Toryu is derived from the famous scenic dragon fighting in Kato City. The ship, built for 69 billion yen, has a displacement of 2,950 tons and a total length of 84 meters and a width of 9.1 meters. It is capable of navigating at about 20 knots when submerged and 12 knots when surfaced. The power source uses a lithium battery which has excellent submarine capabilities and automates the system. The submarine is equipped with a Kawasaki 12V25 25SB type diesel engine and another Kawasaki Kokamuzu Sterling Engine 4. Lockheed Martin Corporation has been awarded of a 2.7 million contract for the United States Navy. The littoral combat ship is designed to defeat growing threats in the coastal water battle space. LCS can serve surface, anti-submarine and mine countermeasure missions. LCS can also deploy manned and unmanned aerial, surface or subsurface missions. In terms of specification, Lockheed Martin LCS has a full load displacement of 3,450 tons and a total length of 118.1 meters. With combined diesel and gas turbine with steerable water jet propulsion, the LCS has a cruising speed of 40 knots. It can accommodate two MH-60 helicopters, 50 crew members and 98 sailors. According to a press release of Pakistan Navy Media Directorate, published on November 1, 2019, the steel cutting ceremony of two Type 054 AP multi-role frigates being built for the Pakistan Navy was held at Hudong Zunghua shipyard in China. With these new ships, the Pakistani Navy will have one of the most technologically advanced platforms of Pakistan Navy that would strengthen its capability to meet future challenges and maintain peace, stability and power balance in the Indian Ocean region. The Type 054A frigate is a class of Chinese multi-role frigates, the first of which entered service with PLA force in 2007. It is a development of the Type 054 frigate, using the same hull but with improved sensors and weapons. This ship has a crew of 165 sailors, including officers. And now for the air sector. Airbus Defense reveals low observable UAV testbed, the Armenian Air Force to be re-equipped with Su-30SM fighter jets, and Poland to replace Mi-24s with new combat helicopters. After more than a decade as a secret project, Airbus Defense reveals LAUT, Low Observable UAV Testbed. The testbed, revealed on November 4, is a 4-ton diamond-shaped unmanned aerial vehicle described as a holistic platform approach to stealth, covering signature reduction, electromagnetic emission control and electronic countermeasures. Lessons learned from the LAUT program will be available for potential adaptation during a long-term evolution activity on the Eurofighter Typhoon and on a proposed French-German-Spanish FCAS development. The Polish military is planning to scrap its MiL-24 Hind combat helicopters, replacing them with modern platforms under the Kroc program. The Polish Ministry of National Defense is focused on the acquisition of two combat rotary wing squadrons for the ground forces and additional helicopters for the Navy. The country is reported to be considering the acquisition of the US-made AH-64E Apache Guardian or AH-1Z Viper or the AW-249 being developed by Augusta Westland. The Armenian Air Force should be taking delivery of the Su-30SM fighter jet from Russia in the coming months. Speaking this week, Armenian Defense Minister said that the country first Su-30SMs should arrive either in December or January-February. 
Armenia has long considered the acquisition of Su-30 SMs to bolster its air force. Earlier this year, in January, the country inked an agreement with Russia for the aircraft. Four aircraft are included in the initial contract and further orders may materialize in the future. This week, Army Recognition has selected the four following topics that drew major attention from its followers. On October 29, 2019, BAE System has received 120 million contracts from the US Marine Corps for additional amphibious combat vehicles under the third order for low-rate initial production of amphibious combat vehicle program initiated by the US Marine Corps System Command. The Amphibious Combat Vehicle is a program initiated by the U.S. Marine Corps System Command to procure an amphibious assault vehicle for the United States Marine Corps to supplement and ultimately replace the aging assault amphibious vehicle, official designation AAAVP-7A1. The Indian Army, which began inducting the ingeniously upgraded 155mm Danish howitzers, will have the first regiment in place by March 2020 and will get all 114 guns by 2022, armed sources said. Danish is the indigenously upgraded variant of the Swedish Bofors gun imported in the 1980s. Danish is a 155mm 45 caliber towered artillery gun with a range of 36 kilometers. It has demonstrated a range of 38 kilometers with specialized ammunition. The Army recently procured 155 mm Excalibur precision guided ammunition from Raytheon and BAE systems able to perform artillery strikes at extended ranges. The ammunition can be used with all 155 mm artillery guns in the inventory. Military personnel from 12 NATO and partner nations are testing their force protection electronic countermeasure systems at the Woomera prohibited area in South Australia. The largest number of participating nations is attending this year's exercise with more than 100 military personnel and scientific researchers involved from countries including Australia, United States, Canada, Germany, Austria, Luxembourg, Belgium, Netherlands, Sweden, Denmark, the United Kingdom and France. Last but not least, Russia will deliver a Pantsir S-gun missile air defense system to Serbia even though the US has warned of possible sanctions against the Balkan country in case of such purchases. The Pantsir S-1 is an air defense missile gun system designed to protect military areas, industrial targets and land forces units and reinforce the air defense units responsible for the protection of troops and military installation against precision-guided air attacks from low and extremely low altitudes.